Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Currently a Saturday morning and you're here with Inglorious Fishing. I'm down at the boat already, guys. We've already made the walk down. We've got the boat running, it's warming up. I'm undecided on where we're gonna go today. I don't know if we're gonna go turbot fishing or if we're gonna go mackerel fishing. All I know is that I had 241 mackerel last night. So, uh, and 23 pollock. So I'm thinking about going back up there, seeing if we get a few more. If not, we're gonna be heading down to the point, guys, and going to try and get some turbot and stuff like that. So. Uh, Stay tuned, it's a lovely morning, it's high as high, it's a big 9 metre spring tide. We might even do the crab pots yet, I'm not sure. Hopefully, we can get a few fish guys. So let's start getting out there, and start catching these fish. Let's do it. We had 241 up here last night. It was mental. Hopefully there's a few more. There's always a chance of a bass and a pollock. We don't really want them. We don't mind if we get them. They'll go back. Well, the pollock won't, but the bass will. We might move a little bit further down. Everyone seems to be fishing up this part for some reason, and I don't know why. We weren't catching the fish here yesterday. Right, we're gonna start making a move down to the next destination. Just a little bit further down, guys. So guys, we've arrived at the next destination. Oh, fish on straight away. That's what I'm talking about. Fish on straight away, guys. Nice big mackerel there. We're gonna get a few here, you mark my words, ready? We're gonna be in again, it's gonna be like last night. Yep, fish on. We got fish on. Nice big mackerel again, guys. Now we're gonna hit loads of mackerel again today. I can see it. Uh, sorry if there's not gonna be a lot of talking. Might just be fish after fish after fish after fish. Big pollock on, I reckon. Big pollock. Look at the head bangs. Oh, that's a beauty. Look at that for a pollock. That is a beauty. Check that out, guys. That's a fine pollock. On the feathers. That's a beauty. The old man's gonna have that one for his tea. I went like freight train that. Look at that. That's a lovely pollock on the feathers. We'll have to weigh that later. Beautiful. That's a nice fish. That's a lovely fish. It's a beauty. That went well, that. Guys, right, fish on. I think it's mackerel. Yeah, two mackerel. Good size mackerel. Good size mackerel. Get back down there and see if we can get a few more. Another two mackerel. I don't know how long we're going to fish up here, guys. I might go and try for a few turbot or something like that. Bit of an adventure day, you know? Who knows? So, uh, see if we can get a turbot or 
I don't know. We'll just see how the fishing goes here first. Then if not, we we'll might go and do try something else. You never know. Oh. Thought we have fish on then. Oh, we have. Fish on, guys. I don't know what this is. Small pollock, maybe? I don't think it's a mackerel. It's a sand eel. Another species, sand eel. No, we don't want that. We want a mackerel, really. Come on, Mackies. There we are, guys. That's a mackerel. Yeah. Fish on. Two mackerel there. My hands are absolutely agony from yesterday. Catching all those mackerel. Yeah, on again. Another two mackerel there, guys. Good sized mackerel as well. Beautiful sized mackerel. Yep, yeah. oh yeah. Hit on the way up. We had four then, one just had to come off. But I'm gonna have to move the boat, guys, because we're coming next to some rocks. So we're gonna get back down, guys, see if we can get some more. Hopefully get a couple more mackerel, and like I said, we might head off and go turbot fishing. Fish on. Yep, mackerel. Just the one. One down, see if we can get a few more. Should be a few more. Yep, fish on, guys. Macadoodle. Unfortunately, I've got mackerel finger. I caught so many last night. Like I said, we had 241 last night. That was a bite. We had 241 last night, and my finger is shredded. Absolutely shredded, guys. Oh, well, we won't complain. Oh, that was a pollock. Tell you what, guys, we're going to start mixing things up today. And, uh... We're going to start making our way down towards St. Martin's Point and see if we can get a turbo or something like that, guys. Why not? Why not? So, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the trip down, guys. We've got a few mackerel, a few pollock. Probably got about 12 mackerel. And that lovely pollock there. That's an absolute slab of a pollock. All on the feathers, guys. Let's get down to St. Martin's Point and, like I say, let's get a flatty or a John Dore. Let's do it. I hope you enjoyed the trip, guys. <laughs>
So guys, we've arrived at St. Martin's Point. I've already got a turbot rod down. I don't want to hang around. So we've got a whole mackerel flapper on that. So hopefully that's going to get us a turbot or a John Doe or a brill. Maybe even a tope. You never know here, guys. So uh, yeah, a few mackerel, a few pollock this morning, which is fantastic. Now hopefully I can get you a turbo just to top it off, guys. And we might go and do the lobster pots later if we've got enough bait. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully get you a big turbo. <laughs> So guys, came up for another drift, just getting the rods out. Um, like I said, a few mackerel, a few pollock up at the breeze. But other than that, not a lot happening. Nothing like last night's live, guys. If you haven't gone and seen that already, go and check out my channel and go and check the live feeds and go and check the latest live. Oh my God, last night we had over 240 mackerel. Mental. So yeah, stay tuned, hopefully. One of these rods are going to scream off as we're coming up the bank, and hopefully we can get you a turbot, guys. It'd be nice to see a turbot come up. We haven't seen one for ages. Or even better, it'd be nice to see a big brill come up, but uh, you never know, guys. So stay tuned. We'll get you some fish, hopefully. So, guys, trying to catch you a turbot, and it ain't happening. Um, we're up here. The rods are down, but no bites whatsoever. We're not drifting very fast, so all in all, things are against us for the turbot, guys. Um... You know, I'm just keeping an eye on the rods. Nothing's really happening. There's no weight, no, no nothing. So, uh, yeah, tide's slacking right off now. So what we might do, guys, we might head up to the crab pots and do these lobster and crab pots and make a video out of it, guys, and hopefully get a few lobo wobbos. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. It's going to be a hard pull because it's spring tides, but it'll be worth it. So we'll stay here for a bit. A bit of weight on that. Pulse along. We're going to be getting the rods in in a minute, guys, and we'll start making our way up there and hopefully get a few of those lobos. Let's do it. Guys, unfortunately my GoPro's just run out of battery, so I'm gonna use the iPhone. First pot, small spider crab. No good that, so I'm gonna chuck that back. Second pot, we've got another spider crab. That's gonna be too small. And one in the front, guys. We've also got one in the front there. So no good at all. Stay tuned, I'm gonna bake these up and we're gonna get onto the second set. Velvet swimming crab there. Don't want that. Another velvet there. Don't want that. Small spider. Another small spider. That's a female there. You can tell by the underneath there. The apron. Got a nice spider there. That one's a keeper. That one's not a bad one. Not the massive though. Another velvet. Hate them things. And two spider crabs at the front that I'll empty out in a minute, guys. Second pot. Just small brown edible crabs and uh, small spider crabs and small velvet swimming crabs, guys. So uh, I'm going to empty them. I'm going to bait them up with some mackerel playing back out. We'll get onto the third set that's there.
red strings up. Look at that. Just an abundance of spider crab. Got a nice brown edible crab in there, actually. Check that out, guys. It's a nice female brown edible crab, that. That's a beauty. That's a nice one. That's a keeper. Do we keep it? I'm going to chuck it back. Yeah, we'll chuck it back, guys. Back it goes. We'll let that one go. And we've got one, two. Three. That's a theme, female. Three. Four. Five. Six. All the big ones seem to have gone now, guys. Seven. Eight spider crabs. No good in that one. Second pot. Big female again. No good. That one might be a keeper. Yeah, that's a keeper, guys. That one's a keeper. So at least we've got one keeper. Stay tuned. I'm going to bake these up. We we'll get onto the fourth set, which is the outer one there. And then we go to the other side and do the other four, guys. Let's get to it. strings up first pot absolutely zilch not a thing not even a crab in the second pot though lobo wobbo baby that's a keeper all day long don't have to measure that one guys that's a keeper that is a keeper that's a beautiful female check that out what a lovely lobster that is beautiful colors to her great claws Look at the colours. She's just shed recently. You can tell by the coloration. So that's her new shell. Fantastic. That's one keeper in the bag, guys. One keeper in the bag. So we put her down there. She's beautiful. We've got one little spider crab as well, guys. No legs. So we're going to chop that one back. We're going to get onto the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth set, which is over that side. So uh, we we'll play this out and we we'll get onto him, guys. Hopefully, a few more lobsters. fifth set's up first pop lovely little lobster there that's not going to be big enough though guys that's going to be far too small that that's a nice little theme uh, male that you can tell by the first two legs there or the first two feelers i call them see them right next to my middle finger there they're hard so that means that that's a male if it was a female they'd be soft like below so uh yeah that's a male lobster cracking little male lobster that so back that goes Small brown uh, spider crab. That's not big enough, guys. Spider crabs have totally gone now. And a couple of small spiders and a velvet swimming crab, guys. So, uh, yeah, there's another. And there's another. So stay tuned, guys. We're going to bake these up. And we're going to get onto the sixth set, which is over there.
right, six strings up. First pot, velvet swimming crabs. One, two, three. Brown edible crab. Spider crab. Too small that, guys. We don't want that. Brown edible crab. And another brown edible crab at the back. Now they're all too small, guys. So we're going to let that go. Second pot. Little lobster. There he is, guys. He's far too small, that. That is a little female, that. Oh, don't hurt yourself, love. Lovely little female. We're going to chuck that back. Back that goes. It's just spider crabs, brown edible crabs, guys. So I'm going to empty these out. We'll bait it up. We'll get onto the seventh and eighth set. Hopefully, we can get another keeper lobster. Get onto that next string, guys. Another spider too small and another spider crab guys far too small far too small get rid of him back he goes second pot useless just spider crabs brown edible crab and a velvet swimming crab guys so i'm gonna empty that i'm not gonna mock around we'll go and get onto the smash string which is over there hopefully we get a few lobsters in that one Smash fishing pots up. First pot. Brown edible crab. Ah, oh, he nearly got me. Spider crab. We haven't done very well here, guys. Not very well at all. Spider crab. Another spider crab. There's a small spider crab here. Don't know if you can see it. There, we've just got hold of it. That's not a bad one. That's a keeper. We've got four keepers. Second pot, one small spider crab, that's it. Absolutely useless. And we even got anything in there. We haven't even got anything in the bottom pot, guys. So, unfortunately, that's it. One keeper lobster, four spider crabs, and not a lot of fish. So, uh, stay tuned, guys. I'm going to bait these up, and we'll start making our way in. I hope you enjoyed it.
this big pollock as well. Four spider crab keepers and a lobster, guys. So, all in all, not a bad day. I'm sorry that I'm recording on the phone. Like I said, the GoPro cut out. So, I don't know what this film has been like, guys. But I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it. Anyway, if you like the channel, like, subscribe. There's going to be plenty more fishing adventures. And we'll see you on the next one. It's in glorious fishing, baby. Like and subscribe. See you, guys.